Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for March 28th. Today is the Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The glory of this forty days we celebrate with songs of praise for Christ The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The, the Lord is the earth and its fullness, the word of and all its peoples. It is he who set it upon the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The man, the man whose deeds are blameless, and whose heart is pure, will climb the mountain of the Lord.
Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he is purchased and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. The Luyar Heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you, o you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with the ten strings do, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. That the Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of all the peoples. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, not a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the force. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue them their souls, their souls from, from death, to keep them alive, alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. Amen. The The loyal heart must must praise the Lord. A reading from the book of Zechariah. I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition, and they shall look on him whom they have thrust through, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. On that day, the morning in Jerusalem shall be great. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Good morning. In today's reading from Zechariah, we hear clearly a foreshadowing of the crucifixion of Jesus and how the people of Jerusalem will suffer. They will suffer as one suffers when they lose their only son. It says there will be great mourning in Jerusalem. The time is approaching that where Jesus is going to be condemned to death. In today's gospel reading, he is making himself once again equal to the Father. He tells his disciples and the Pharisees that he does the will of the Father and the Father and him are one. And so he's slowly approaching that point where the Pharisees were are just not going to stand for what he says and use it as an excuse to crucify him. So we have an opportunity during this time of Lent to um, reflect, but also to walk with Christ. Uh, I know in many churches they have the Stations of the Cross, some places daily, and most churches on Friday. It's an opportunity for us to experience in prayer what Jesus will be going through during Holy Week on Good Friday. And so we also would like to <clears throat> take it, take an opportunity to reflect on how much he loves us as he, you know, God gave his only son to bear our sins and how Jesus humbly accepted this, this um, purpose in his life because he loved us so much. Uh, We need only look at the cross to see and understand and realize how much God and how much Jesus truly loves us. And I pray that uh, reflecting on that suffering would help us all to somehow improve our lives and put some of those sins that separate us from God and separate us from Jesus. And maybe when we look on the cross, we can see some of those sins that that put him there, the scourgings, the nails, and help us to change our lives for the better. Because uh, that's what Jesus wants. That's what he wants. He loves us so much. He wants his suffering not to be in vain, but for it to be a, a way for us to improve our lives. God bless you. Have a good day. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, says the Lord, you will know that I am He. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. 
through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant this was his oath he swore to our father abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen when you have lifted up the son of man says the lord you will know that i am he Praise to Christ, who has given us himself as the bread from heaven. Let us pray to him, saying, Jesus, you feed and heal our souls. Come to strengthen us. Lord, feed us at the banquet of the Eucharist. With all the gifts of your pastoral sacrifice, give us a perfect heart to receive your word, that we may bring forth fruit in patience. Make us eager to work with you in building a better world, so that it may listen to your church and its gospel of peace. We confess, Lord, that we have sinned. Wash us clean by your gift of salvation. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Jesus, Jesus you, you feed, feed and, and heal our souls. Come, come to strengthen us. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, help us to do your will, that your church may grow and become more fruitful in your service. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.